Hey, what's going on everybody? Hayden Ray, your favorite expert. I've helped thousands of people find the right skis. So if you're not sure where to start, come on over to Curated. There's a link in the description below. Hit the link, you'll get paired with myself, Jake, or any of the other experts on the platform who will be ready to help you find the perfect skis. Today, I jumped on the Line Honey Badgers. Line claims that this is just your entry level park ski that can also ski a little bit outside the park. Just so you guys know, I am not sponsored or affiliated with Line or any of these brands that we'll be chatting and reviewing about. So all of my opinions are completely unbiased and I'm just letting you know what I think of the gear. So a little bit about the line Honey Badger. We got a 92 millimeter waist ski, Aspen veneer core with a carbon Ollie band throughout the ski that really created, you know, a good pop, you know, easy edge to edge ski. Again, lots of camber under foot gear. So it held edge great on the hard pack we were skiing at it. This is just an awesome ski. If you're learning to ski switch, wanting to learn some spins, maybe get past that 180 and finally nail that 360. The Honey Badgers are definitely gonna be a ski that can help you get your skiing up to the next level. For anybody, you know, getting into the park or, you know, getting into skiing and you are curious about park skiing, the Honey Badger is definitely gonna be on your radar. Unfortunately, for being a taller, heavier rider, the longest length the Honey Badgers come in is a 177 centimeter length. It's a little on the shorter side for somebody my height and weight and ski length preference. If you're a taller or heavier rider, you're gonna get a little bit of movement in the tips here. That's just because the ski is just not really designed to ski fast for bigger, heavier riders. The Honey Badger being 92 millimeter underfoot doesn't have the most flow. If you were skiing powder, you might want to bump it up to the Bacon 108s. Uh, they would provide you more flow. But the ski does have full tip and tail rocker, so it is easy to pivot in the bumps or in ungroomed terrain. So wouldn't recommend the ski for deep powder. Wouldn't recommend the ski for expert skiers looking to go really fast on hardback. This is really your intermediate ski to get into freestyle, to get into the park and kind of adventure all over the mountain. If you want to get jibby with it, start skiing switch here, hit this jump. This is your ski. Every skier is different. Every ski is different. If you have any questions about what gear would be right for you, hit the link, get connected with an expert like myself today. And if you like the reviews we're producing, hit subscribe, hit like, drop a comment, let us know what gear you want us to review next.